In Ottawa this morning, demonstrations continue for the third weekend in a row, despite it being called a state of emergency there. Global's Abigail Beeman joins us live from Ottawa. Abigail, what's happening at this point in the morning? Good morning. Well, things are, are ramping up, let's say, for the morning, meaning more and more people are coming out and, and heading uh, downtown to the hill, or many who are sleeping already in this area are waking up and getting going for the day. This is after we saw uh, all kinds of uh, reports of what looked like a massive party or concert or protest, depending on uh, who you are speaking to and, and, and what their take on the situation was. But really, the bottom line here is that for the third weekend in a row, uh, there is an influx of people to the capital uh, quieter during the week uh, with the contingent that holds steady throughout on what's now day 16 uh, but then on the weekend a large influx of, of more more people staying in hotels uh, more vehicles uh, coming to the downtown core and not just the downtown core as we you know mentioned before there are a number of encampments uh, in other places uh, outside of just the you know parliament hill and downtown area the Prime Minister stressed Friday that protesters are acting illegally and Ontario's Premier issued a state of emergency. What's actually being done to end the protest? So we heard from the Prime Minister that everything is on the table. Justin Trudeau saying uh, that, uh, that, that there will be an end to what he is calling an illegal occupation, but that he wouldn't get into specifics of how it would end or when it would end because he is concerned about violence, saying everything is on the table. With the exception of, he said that what he doesn't want to do is call in the military. That's not being seriously considered right now, although he says uh, that they have to be prepared for uh, any eventuality. Uh, at the provincial level, as you mentioned, the premier uh, declaring a state of emergency, talking about very significant fines, jail time. Uh, we went out and spoke with quite a few protesters after that announcement had been made. Not a single person that we spoke to was deterred by that, concerned by arrests or fines, saying that they, they were there for... Uh, as long as it takes is, is the message that you hear uh, on the streets here. And what that means for many people that we've spoken, spoken to is until the mandates are lifted, they say that they're not going anywhere. We will see uh, if, if that changes. And then at the municipal level, you have the city of Ottawa, which uh, announced yesterday afternoon that they will be seeking a court injunction of their own, talking largely in the text of the letter that they released uh, that this has to do with bylaw violations. But in terms of any major scale enforcement, you're certainly not seeing that. Uh, the last update from police, they had issued 1,700 tickets. We know that police are uh, handing out tickets in some cases, uh, but there is nothing going on in terms of a large-scale uh, police enforcement that, that is focused on actually getting people out of here. Okay, wow. Okay, thank you so much for the update this morning and your time, Abigail.